Welcome to our video demonstrating the proper sealant applications for Premier SIPs. Resource Manual Today's video will describe the application of SIP sealant as part of overall SIP construction. SIP sealant applications, following the Premier SIPs Resource Manual details, is important to ensure long-term, durable SIP structures. In all SIP sealant applications, Two parallel 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied. This common pattern is repeated in all SIP sealant applications. It's recommended that an electric or air driven sealant gun be used in order to dispense a properly formed 3 8 inch bead size. Bottom plates. Two straight, parallel, 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied to the bottom plate one inch in from each edge. A perpendicular 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant bead is applied one inch in from the ends of the bottom plate for each wall segment. All factory cut electrical chase holes must be encircled with SIP sealant. Using the SIP sealant pattern will reduce air and vapor movement at bottom plates. SIP wall installation can now begin. End plates. Two straight parallel 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied to the core of the SIP one inch in from each edge. Perpendicular 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied one inch in from the bottom of the SIP and one inch in from the top of the SIP. All factory cut electrical chase holes must be encircled with SIP sealant. Using this SIP sealant pattern will reduce air and vapor movement at end plates. SIP wall spline installation can now begin. Splines Two straight parallel 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied to the core of the SIP one inch in from each edge. Perpendicular 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied one inch in from the bottom of the SIP and one inch in from the top of the SIP. All factory cut electrical chase holes must be encircled with SIP sealant. The spline is installed and the same sealant pattern is repeated on the spline edge prior to the installation of the next SIP. Applying sealant in the proper pattern, location, and 3 8 inch bead size will result in the sealant spreading to form an effective air and vapor block. Wall Installation SIP wall installation can continue following the SIP sealant pattern. The SIP sealant pattern will reduce air and vapor movement at splines. When moving to an adjacent wall, SIP sealant is installed on the bottom plate as shown earlier. Two straight, parallel 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied to the SIP one inch in from each edge. Perpendicular 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied one inch in from the ends of each wall segment. Top Plates Two straight, parallel 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied to the core of the SIP one inch in from each edge. Perpendicular 3 8 inch diameter SIP sealant beads are applied one inch in from the ends of each wall segment. All factory cut electrical chase holes must be encircled with SIP sealant and the top plate installed. Applying sealant in the proper pattern, location, and 3 8 inch bead size will result in the sealant spreading to form an effective air and vapor block. Using this SIP sealant pattern will reduce air and vapor movement at top plates. The use of SIP sealant at bottom plates, end plates, Splines and top plates results in a virtually airtight wall installation. 
Sip roofing. Sip roofs are sealed in the same manner as shown earlier for wall construction. Sip roofs must also be sealed where they meet the top of sip walls and where they overlay structural beams. Sip tape. Additional sealing must also be done with sip tape. Please consult the Premier SIPS resource manual for installation instructions. The use of SIP sealant properly applied to spline connections, boundary end plates, with the addition of SIP tape, results in a virtually airtight installation. For more information and details, please refer to the Premier SIPS resource manual. And visit our website at premiersips.com. Thank you for watching our video.